Kia ora team, so today we're going to look at how to calculate for weight. Okay, so weight is um, found by taking our mass and timesing it by our gravity. Um, so our formula for weight, quite simply, weight is equal to mass times gravity. So if we have a person with a mass of 50 kgs, what would their weight be? So if we use our formula here, so weight equals mass times gravity, we can put in our mass times 9.81 for our gravity. We can figure out that our person has a weight of 490.5 and our units is newtons. Hi team, so here we're looking at momentum. So remember our unit for momentum uh, is P and our formula is mass times velocity. So if we were to work out momentum, we need to have the mass and we're going to times it by the velocity. So come across a question such as this that states if a rock has a mass of 50 kg and a velocity of 10 meters per second how much momentum does it have so what we're going to do is take the formula so momentum is equal to mass times velocity we are going to take our mass and velocity, so 50 kg for the mass times 10 for the velocity, and that is going to give us 500 kg per meter second. Kia ora team, um, so today what we're going to do is look at how to calculate for work. So work, um, we find out by taking the force and timesing it by the distance. So if we get a question that states something like this, the weightlifter performs a bench press of 183.5 kilograms over a length of 0 0.5 meters, how much work has he done? So we're going to go, okay, Our formula for work, work is equal to force times distance. Okay, so we can see that we have the distance here. However, we are not given the force. So we need to go and work out force. So how can we work out force? If we recall, force is equal to mass times acceleration and so we have the mass on 83.5 we're going to times that by 9.81 because we are being accelerated by gravity so if we have 183.5 times 9.81 we get 1800. All right, so we have now worked out force, which we can enter in here. So we can now take our 1800 times our 0 0.5. And so we are going to have a work done of 900 Newton meters or 900 joules. Kia ora team, so what we're going to look at now is how to calculate for power. So our formula for power is P is equal to work divided by time. All right, so our power is equal to work divided by time. So if we get a question that states the weightlifter had a workload of 900 Newton meters 
during the concentric phase of a lift, which took 1.3 seconds to perform, how much power was developed? So what we're going to do, well, we're going to start with our formula. So power is equal to work divided by time. And so we've given our work a workload of 900 Newton meters divided by the time it took, so 1.3. And if we divide 900 by 1.3, we get 692.3, and our units are watts. Kia ora team, so what we're going to work out here is kinetic energy. So, our formula for kinetic energy um, is kinetic energy is equal to 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. Uh, you might also see this written as half mv squared. It means the same thing, 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. Okay, so if we get a question that states something along the lines of what is the kinetic energy of a sprinter with a mass of 78 kg moving at a velocity of 12.2 meters per second? How we can work this out is go through the formula. So our kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.5 times mass times velocity squared which is going to equal 0.5 times our mass of 78 times our velocity of 12.2 squared. Remember the velocity is squared. And then we calculate for that, which will give us a final answer of 5,804 and 8 in our unit joules. Kia ora team. So what we're looking at here is how to calculate potential energy. So our formula for potential energy is our potential energy is equal to our weight times our height. Okay, so um, if we get a question that states... Calculate the potential energy of a trampolinist with a mass of 65 kg at the peak of a 3 meter jump. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to first get our formula for potential energy, so weight times height. Okay, so in our question we can see that we're given height. However, we are only given mass and not weight. So we need to calculate for weight. So if we recall, weight is equal to our mass times acceleration. So 65 times 9.81 for our gravity. And that is going to give us a weight of 638. 7.65 newtons. Okay, so we can now take this weight here and substitute it for our weight in our uh, potential energy formula. So we are going to now have 637.65 times 3. And so this is going to give us a potential energy of 1,912.95 and our unit joules.